What's up everyone, Mr. Steel Waits here. And today I'm gonna to be talking about GABA. So what does GABA actually stand for? GABA stands for gamma amino butyric acid. Now, GABA is the main inhibitory neurotransmitter in the mature central nervous system of our body. There are two types of neurotransmitters. It can either be an excitatory neurotransmitter or it can be an inhibitory neurotransmitter. The difference between the two is the likelihood that an action potential will be reached. So in an excitatory neurotransmitter, the message and signal that's being communicated between one neuron to another will only be sent if it reaches an action potential. So in an excitatory one, there's a higher likelihood that the message will, will get sent from one neuron to another. And an inhibitory neurotransmitter, there's less likelihood that the message or signal will get sent from one neuron to another. Some of the main functions of GABA is that it regulates the proliferation, which means the creation of neuroprogenitor cells. It also helps with the migration and differentiation of neurites, and also helps with the formation of synapses. Now, I'm gonna try to go through these one by one. The creation of progenitor cells is really crucial because these cells are similar to stem cells. So stem cells, in case you're not aware, they can be guided into becoming specific cells that can be used to regenerate and repair disease and damaged tissues. Some who may benefit from stem cell therapy include people with spinal cord injuries, people who have type 1 diabetes, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, stroke, burns, and some forms of cancer. So progenitor cells have a similar function to these stem cells. Due to the fact that GABA pertains to the proliferation of these types of cells, it's very important to maintain healthy levels of GABA within our body. Now, next point, synapses. Synapses are induction between two nerve cells, and this is where the signals are communicated between one neuron to another. Since nerve cells relay information such as sensory information and motor information, the presence of GABA in the body to aid in the formation of the synapses where these signals are being sent is very important. In summary, with regard to the function of GABA, GABA controls the brain's rhythm so that our bodies, our bodies and brain's functions are stable. Without sufficient amount of GABA, our brain would produce random bouts of energy and also throw off our emotional balance. Next thing I want to discuss is the personality traits of someone who has a stable GABA in nature. Some GABA qualities that you are likely to possess are objectivity, level-headedness, practicality, confidence, and punctuality. Now, organization and schedules are very necessary to someone who is GABA natured. Someone who is GABA dominant will be also more inclined to pursue the following careers. Uh, accountant, nurse, administrator, security officer, air traffic controller, medical technician, and the last one being meeting planner, which makes sense. So you are sensible and not prone to wide swing emotions, which makes sense given the personality trait of being level-headedness. You enjoy both one-on-one -on -one conversations and group activities. You most likely enjoy biographies, collecting, and stuff of that sort, and history. If you have too much GABA, the quality of tending to others will lead to you not taking up enough time for yourself, for you. You may also invest too much time looking for a significant other, so you may be a hopeless romantic how I was in, uh, yeah, all of my high school years. So, <laughs> um, you may also look continuously for advice of authority, and you're more likely to tend to follow others. Some physical issues that you may experience from being GAP deficient includes, but are not limited, not limited to some of the following. Carb cravings, which <laughs> necessarily isn't the best uh, physical issue to go off of because honestly, who doesn't have some carb cravings? Um, clammy hands, constipation, ooh. Uh, backache, appetite changes, dry mouth, excessive sleepiness, headache, irritable bowel syndrome, irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, night sweats, shortness of breath, and ringing of the ears, which is my excuse for, uh, you know, whenever my girlfriend says something and uh, I don't hear it, babe, it's, I'm, I'm GABA deficient, baby. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, sometimes I just can't hear you. Uh, <laughs> try that one. Let me know how, if it uh, works out for you. Uh, anyways, some moves that you may experience from being GABA deficient 
include but are not limited to some of the following. Uh, stress, anxiety, excessive guilt, uh, hopelessness, OCD, restlessness, memory lapse, uh, loss of immediate and verbal memory, and attention issues. Now, here we get to the good stuff, meaning if you are GABA deficient, if, if you find out that you are through the neurotransmitter test, these are some of the foods and supplements that are recommended for you. Here are some supplements that are recommended for you if you are GABA deficient. Glutamic acid, thymine, melatonin, and inositol. Some recommended foods for you include, but are not, lim not limited to some of the following. Almonds, walnuts, broccoli, banana, hopefully don't have uh, allergies, oranges, and beef liver, which I've never had beef liver, so if you do go down that route, let me know. I'm very curious. Uh, yeah, just drop that in the comments whenever you have it. Uh, two herbs worthy of mentioning are valerian root and passion flower. Uh, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> Pretty sure Valerian Root was in the uh, computer game RuneScape. I uh, have to back check on that. So if you do know uh, the RuneScape game, power to you, baby. Much love. Uh, that is all we have for you for today. If you haven't taken the neurotransmitter test, I highly suggest that you do just to figure out where you are, what your strengths are, and what are some of your possible deficiencies. And yeah, rock on with that. Our final video will be with regard to the neurotransmitter serotonin. So stay tuned in for that one. And uh, honestly, I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week. Hopefully you had a great weekend. Hopefully you're not too hungover. And uh, yeah, just hope, you know, the adult sodas, adult sodas didn't uh, do too much damage to you. So that is it. This is Mr. Steel Waits from the Training Tank. And I'm out.